everybody for the winter tattoo you know what it is before it gets super dark i just wanted to give you guys a quick little intro on this episode i just want to say thank you very much for tuning in don't forget to check out the description box down below leave a comment like favorite subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new pokey vlog episode we are about to head on over to the pool it is the first day of school and i did not vlog or anything while i was at school on my first day it is a tuesday and um, pretty much I am going to uh, attempt to do some vlogging on Thursday. I basically go to school Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays I'm free and then Saturdays and Sundays I'm free but I do work every single day so that is also an issue but it's okay. I'm able to manage my time. Uh, we got an Eevee nearby so not too much going on right now. Uh, egg wise, let's go ahead and check it out really quickly. Haven't been able to see that too much. 3.5 out of 5. We might be able to hatch those two that are above 3. Not too sure. Got no Pokestops, nothing going on right now. I'm basically just introing the video. About to head on over to the pool. So if we find anything cool, great. If not, I'll see you guys at the pool with a little bit more information. So let's get to it. I'm sure you guys can see me and it is 8.40 at night. I'm at the pool and absolutely no one's here. It is currently roughly around 85-ish degrees at night. It was 113, 14 today, which isn't bad, but I mean, it's not, it's definitely hot. But that's the only reason why I'm here at night is because it was freaking hot in the house and I'm just too lazy to turn on an air conditioner. Gotta save that dough, son, gotta save that dough. But, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and recap with you guys what has been going on this far with our journey. I just want to say for those of you that have been tuning in through the whole journey, thank you very much. We are Squad Valor, if you haven't noticed already. We currently have already gained over 675,000 experience points. We're level 24, and we are roughly about 80% to level 25. Uh, coins, my team Valor, and we started on... Uh, 7-5-2016. Here's all of our achievements that we gained in Pokemon Go thus far. Um, a lot of them are gold now, and those are the, basically the type of Pokemon that I'm able to catch in our area. As you guys can tell um, from those achievements, the two Pokemon in our area are a Nidoran and an Eevee, and from those achievements, it's pretty much all I'm able to get in this area. Um, Journal-wise, customized, nothing to do there. Yeah, that's what's nearby. I'm probably not going to capture any Pokemon tonight. Here's a squad. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I'm not going to go into deep detail on every single one. That will be in probably a later, later video. Uh, pretty much to close the series or a season off until like uh, the next Gen 2 comes out. But for now, here are our Pokemon. Sprinklers are turning on. God damn it. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, just go ahead and pause the video. I have one of every single Pokemon. And uh, the ones that are better are starred, of course, so they do not get removed. And this is just the way I'm OCD like that. I don't keep doubles of Pokemon unless it was, like, super powerful that I captured. And there's basically two Pokemon that are, like, over 2K. But for now, I have one of every single Pokemon I've had to capture, hatch, evolve, and pretty much do all of this by myself. It was pretty hard. The only Pokemon that I'm missing that I actually had was a Ghastly. Um, I do not have the Ghastly anymore. I evolved it into a Haunter, and I gotta find another one. It is really hard for me to find Ghastlies in my area. Pretty much the only way I'm gonna get them is from eggs. Here's my current eggs. We're definitely gonna probably be able to hatch at least one of them tonight, hopefully. And again, I am trying to get 9, 10k eggs for video, uh, video purposes. Uh, Item-wise, I mean, there's really not much to show you here. I have 650 slots if you want to see that, because in the store I've had to purchase a bunch of storage slots. Um, let me see, yeah, 700 coins, nothing going on in the gym, but here's our Pokedex, 117 out of 118, and it is the War Turtle that we're missing, hopefully we can capture and evolve the rest of these Pokemon, basically all the Pokemon that we're missing are like Gengars, Machamps, all the triple evolution Pokemon, so we're not too far from the 142 mark, hopefully we can get that soon, but I'm about to take a dip in the pool. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in, and pretty much this episode is going to be very, very laid back. Um, tomorrow, no, tomorrow's Wednesday, the day after on Thursday I'm going to my second day of school of my last semester, and we'll try to get some pokey stops in, we'll try to get some egg hatching in, it is very hard. I go, on Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm there from 9.30 to 1.20, and there's absolutely not one break in between. There's a 20-ish minute break in between one of my classes. Um, 
after my walk from the freaking hell of campus all the way to the super hell of campus, it's basically from north to south, all my classes, I go from one end to the other every single switch of the swatch. So pretty much I have to deal with that, but there's not that much time to vlog and record and pretty much after school I have to go straight home. So I'll try to get as much in as possible for this vlog. That's pretty much what all this vlog is gonna be about is how many Pokestops we've got at my school and a couple of gyms, but I'm not gonna really do any gym battles. As you guys know, I'm trying to focus, key focus on these 142 Pokemon collection for the America region. And uh, you know what? In a bit, after I take my dip in the pool, we'll come back, I'll go ahead and chat with you guys a little bit more. Uh, not about the game, but about pretty much life in general and give you guys some feedback on what's going on IRL wise and we will continue with our vlog and again this is a pretty much laid back vlog we are about to take a dip in the pool uh, hopefully it's not too cold and yeah August 30th son and tomorrow August 31st and September 1st will be the second day of school so that's when I'll be recording again my Pokevlog series is going nowhere every Wednesday and Saturday we release the episodes so stay tuned for some more and see you in about like five minutes. All right, so we took our dip. I feel refreshed. I feel cooler. I almost feel ice cold. But uh, actually, no, I don't feel ice cold. It's freaking hot still. So. It's muggy. It's hot. It's nasty. I feel sweaty. But I'm cooler than I was. So that's a good thing. Looking at my phone right now, we do got a meowth in the area, but I do not see it. So that kind of sucks. We're not finding anything. It's pretty much a slow day with Pokemon Go. So, since it's a slow day, let's go ahead and chat with you guys. Not sure how I'm going to be doing this, but uh, or why I'm even doing this, but I ju it just came up in my head. I feel like talking to you guys about it, and if you guys do not want to hear me chat about my life, uh, go ahead and uh, pause the video, give it a thumbs down, and move on with your day, son. If you guys are down and interested in hearing more life videos, though, without Pokemon Go being in the background, uh, just go ahead and post down in the comment section. I could talk about things in the past, I could talk about things in the future, and I could talk about things that are going on right now. I could talk, I can actually be funny with it, I can be serious with it, I can actually talk about what's basically going on in life. Not too much detail in life. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm not gonna talk personal basis, but I'll talk about things like school, college, high school, uh, back in the elementary school days, personal businessy stuff, friends and all that cool stuff. So if you guys are down and interested in chatting it up, go ahead and ask me some questions and I'll make videos out of it. But without further ado, I feel like talking about this because I've been asked it before. For the Winitachi, do you have a girlfriend? Now, the way that works is no. And to be honest, I've never had one. And for those of you that are my friends, you'll probably be like, wait, what? You can hear me out on this, guys. Hear me out on this. Uh, the la my last relationships, I, I don't count it. It doesn't count, okay? And you guys know why it doesn't count. But in the past, uh, let me talk. Let me go back. Um, before second grade, I could have had like ten relationships that count, but I'm not gonna count them because I really didn't even know what girls were until like third grade. Like, I really didn't care. I was a boy. I didn't care when I was younger. All I cared about was going out at recess, playing freaking dodgeball, hitting people, tag, you name it, I got it. And um, I feel bad about it. I can go into more details. Um, but I'm going to catch you guys up really quickly. So I've never had a girlfriend until now, and I still don't. So I've never had a girlfriend. Let's put it that way. Um, have I been asked out? Plenty of times. Oh, god damn. I feel bad about it because I've said no every single time. Why? Because I don't want to spend my money on someone else when I'm struggling to spend money on myself. Um, it would be cool if it was a mutual relationship, but that's just the way I look at it. I just don't, I didn't, I never even had the time. Time is money, money is time. I never had the time, I never had the money, so I couldn't do it. Um, also, attraction wise, didn't really go well either, so I didn't really like them that way. I've liked people, but I've never asked them out either. But again, same reason why. It's because time is money, money is time. I never even wanted to do it anyways. Um, now I feel like I'm in more of a cool place. I'm not really stable money-wise at all either yet. But there's someone that I like right now. And um, she's LG. If you guys went to my school, you guys would know exactly who it is if I say LG. Um, literally LG. 
if she's even watching this, she'd be shocked already. She'd probably be mad. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to give you guys any t information. But she's, I'm six foot tall. She's probably, last I checked, like five, three, five, four, five, three, maybe five, two, maybe five, one. Five, uh, let's just say she's five foot at the smallest. She's got to have grown within the last six years. I haven't seen her in six years. But we've talked every now and then. And um, I recently messaged her, and I know she's in her last year of college. Same with me. And uh, I'm in my last semester, but I'm currently local. She's in her last year, and she's up north. And she's way too far for the bother coming down. So she said during Thanksgiving, she's begun to hang when she comes out. Uh, down south for the for about three days so hopefully that goes well I'll keep you guys posted but if you guys are interested in hearing relationship stories back in the day um, go ahead and post in the, if you have any questions go ahead and post in chat and I will make videos out of them and answer them but uh, for now I know this is a Pokemon Go vlog and we're not even doing any Pokemon Go yet and it's probably been what like 10 minutes in the freaking video um, we got a Diglett the Eevee's still chilling and it's gotta have been gone and then we got a Meowth and guess what none of them are by me so Pokemon Go is Pokemon No and egg hatching hopefully we can get one before we get home if not oh well I will see you guys back on Thursday when I get my second day of school in and hopefully we can get some cool stuff then but until now thank you very much for tuning in I'll catch you in a few
All right, everybody, just hit it up. It is morning. I am kind of late, so not really going to play before class as I had planned, but in between this class and my next class, I will definitely be getting my game in for a good, like, 20 minutes, hopefully. I have basically 20 minutes in between class, so I might be late, but we good. We good. Uh, basically, this last semester is going to be super hard. I got to really focus, got to settle down. Get my homeworks on, my testing on, and I'm gonna get a lot of work because it's all my goddamn science classes. No more easy classes. I saved all the hard ones for the last semester, like an idiot. But uh, I gotta do it, and uh, we'll get it done this semester together. And YouTube ain't going anywhere, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, as you all can see, that's pretty much my daily walk from one uh, from my first class to my second class um, during Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's pretty much the most time I'm ever going to get. I start class in about 8 minutes, so not too much time. As you guys can see, a couple Pokemon ran away, the Growlithe, and I believe it was a Rattatat. But I was able to get a couple um, Venonats. I got some eggs to hatch. So it's a very great KM walk, especially in the morning's walk. But it's pretty much hectic walk after walk. This is the first week of school, so it's just pretty much class to class, back to back to back. I have three during the day. From 9.30 to one twenty ish uh, end at one twenty, and it's back to back to back. So there's no space in between except this little gap that I have in between my first and second class. Uh, my second to third class is way worse. It's only a five minute uh, gap and it's like a ten minute walk. But that's okay. Nothing too for, uh, great nearby, but there's tons of Poke Stops and that's what we're going to be aiming for is all of them eggs and hatching them as much as possible. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are going to... Go ahead and head on over to class. Uh, next week, it's going to be much, much longer than this episode when it comes to school-wise. But I'll see you guys there. And thank you very much for tuning in. For the win, Itachi is...